In 2021, the U.S. government spent $146 billion with small businesses. So I got a question for you. How much of that did you get? So the top industries that the government spends money on with small businesses are healthcare, social assistance, food services, and construction. Do you know what a P-card is? That's a government credit card that allows them to spend up to $10,000 on one single transaction to buy all types of supplies, like trash bags, pens, and copy paper. They don't go direct to retailers. Do you know who they come to? People like me and people like you. My first year in the business, I made a quarter million dollars. That's $250,000 doing these exact same things. And I'm gonna teach you how to do this. Hey, my name is Kevin Jennings. I'm a former football player, father, and I'm also a serial entrepreneur. And what I do is teach individuals like you how to get your slice of the government cheese. And when I say government cheese, what I really mean is government contracts. I show individuals like you how to get easy contracts with the government doing all types of services. There's more contracts out there than there are people to fulfill them. That means there's an abundance of money out there just waiting on you to pick it up. And I'm gonna show you how. Did you know that you can make five figures a month just managing social media accounts for the government? You can make up to five figures a month simply by ordering office supplies for the government. Did you know you can make up to five figures a month just by selling food to the prisons? You could also make up to five figures a month selling light bulbs, selling trash bags, selling pens, selling printer ink. Basically what I'm trying to tell you is that the government has a lot of money that they're waiting to hand over to you to fulfill simple jobs. The problem is most of y'all don't even know that these contracts exist, but I'm gonna show you how to position yourself to get them. In 2021, the average median income was $67,521. That's a 3% decline since 2019. That's approximately $5,500 a month. Let's say you have an average car. The most purchased car in 2021 was the Ford F-150, which would run you about $758 a month. Let's look at your rent. The average rent in America in 2021 was $1,651. Do you see a pattern? Americans are making less money and the cost of living is increasing. The average utility bill in 2021 is around $300. The average cell phone bill, $100. Groceries, on average, ran about $411. The average American spends about $700 a month in gas in 2021. Health insurance in 2021 ran you about $490 a month. At that average yearly salary of $67,521, you will be paying roughly $755 a month in taxes. That brings us to a total of $5,165 in basic living expenses. So any responsible adult will be left with about $335 a month for life insurance, retirement planning, and basic living like movies, dinner, Netflix, and etc. You basically would be on a hamster wheel, working only to pay bills, running fast, and going nowhere. I'm offering you a clear pathway to real financial freedom.